I think you could say she actually discipled quite a number of the girls in the high school group and the college group and later adult women without either she or the woman recognizing there was discipleship taking place. Just the quality of her life, the quality of her character, the sweetness of her spirit, it, um, it rubbed off on just lots of people. Uh, she was that way, and uh, she was always Nancy, you know, uh, consistent. Now, sometimes she would surprise you. I mean, when we think of her, <laughs> I think of laughter. It was loud and contagious and delightful. It drew you in. In fact, whoever was in the room with Nancy would eventually be laughing with her because she was so real and carefree. Because what you saw was what you got, and that was what everybody loved about Nan, as Randy called her. We loved her that way. Nancy had lots of loves of life. She loved her God. She loved her family. She loved football. She loved her dog. Uh, mm. She she was a lover of life. And uh, I loved how she just took her Bible to real life every day, and then she spent 10 years writing Bible studies uh, for the church, and most people were able to take take this in because she knew her Bible and she shared it with them, and we appreciate that. Yep. Nancy wa never wanted to be on a platform. That was one of her things. She wanted to share and let people know what God would want, but she didn't want a platform to share it. So she, she didn't need to be known. She did it beside, uh, behind the scenes. For five hours driving to Spokane. And we found ourselves just kind of freewheeling spirits. And we were talking about, uh, wouldn't it be something if someday God would allow us to pastor together somewhere? Wouldn't that be unbelievable kind of talk? Never occurred to us that it would actually happen, but it was a, a sweet, personally felt dream as we were driving. Little did we know that within 10 weeks, we would be working together in a Bible study that was becoming Good Shepherd Community Church, and we pastored together uh, right after that conversation without really anticipating it. And that little simple conversation in that car amongst the four of us shaped, changed tra the trajectory of our lives, our whole lifetimes, uh, our marriages, our children, uh, now our grandchildren. All of those lives were affected by that little conversation of sweet-spirited intimacy, hopeful dreaming together. And uh, now here we are all these years later, and we're by God's sovereign grace, uh, laying one another into the hands of our Jesus. Nancy and I shared the role of being pastor's wives from the beginning here, and we knew the struggles that took place with various people, with things that were hardships, and yet we didn't complain. We were happy to have the opportunity to be here. Uh, it was God's place for us. Uh, neither of us were unhappy about the things that weren't all that great, but neither of us were down on it, and I appreciate Nancy's sweet spirit. She always loved her God, and she, uh, she lived it out. And Randy was always the best at ensuring that reality. Uh, he was very disciplined to be Nancy's husband before he was my friend or even the church's pastor. Uh, they had a relationship like that.